Hello everyone, and welcome back. Yes, it's a remake of What If Neptune Had Moons, because the last time I did it, it wasn't so good. It's, it was only one of my first videos, my second first ever video on U Universe Sandbox. No, that was my first time video on Universe Sandbox. My first video was on Roblox. But yeah, it's a remake, because I did pretty bad. But yeah, let's get right into it. See? Yellow is, uh... Saturn's, uh, orange is ne uh, Neptune's, um, Jupiter, blue is Neptune's, the, the, oh my god, I can't think, the purple is Pluto, and the light blue is, of course, Uranus, or Uranus, whatever. Oh yes, I also forgot the moon, how could I? Okay, yes, yeah, so and there we go, the white is just on the, it started. I got I am for a second there, but Crystal is coming in there pretty close. Ganymede, Ganymede's orbit crosses the world puzzle. Yeah. Um, I think anything has been destroyed yet. Tina's getting yoinked by Io. Titania gets lucky. Over on. Oh, oh, there we go. We got, we got a collision between. Ooh, Ariel and Oberon. Oh, I think that's a super by the area. Oh my god. Slowed on time a bit there. Look at that. Wow. A bit too much red I put on. Red I put on on Oberon because if you don't know, Oberon does have some reddish on it. And I can really see it. See it. Jeez, what is this orbit? Trying our own moon or in a binary. Just <laughs> Oberon Ariel's orbits are just kind of whatever. I have no idea what's happening here. And so that what surely Ariel is just being. Yeah, pretty much, I guess. Don't think anything's gonna happen to them for a while. What is going on here? We have train. We have <laughs> Miranda here too. Okay, Miranda and train escape. Nope, Miranda's back. Oberon and Ariel still doing it? Nope, there goes Ariel. Ariel. Ariel's finally gone. Rip. Okay. Train and Callisto in the binary. Train gets pushed out. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up by a lot. Nope, train and Callisto in the binary again. Train just keeps on getting in binaries. Only one. Oh! No, a few moons have been destroyed. Um. Let's see. Dione, I think, has been destroyed. Oh, Triton does not have the best orbit here. Um. Okay, Titania has also gotten destroyed. So has uh all right, no Miranda still here. Okay, okay, no Titania is still here. But, I mean, what has been destroyed? I am so confused. Crap. Uh, okay, I don't see Io. Ariel has been destroyed, so there's one moon I'm missing here. Saturn's moons. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. No, it couldn't be because Dione's gone. Ariel, Dione. I have no idea. 
you. <laughs> I can't think right. This is where it's 18 he has. How long does that take to orbit anyway? Man, lock on the titan. There we go. Here. Only like six to seven months, so it's not that far out. We got a lot of. Whoa, what is that? Whoa, what is going on here? Excelitus, oh my god. I'm sure none of this would really happen, it's just because I'm going so fast. Go faster the better. Looks <laughs> to be nothing else is going to really destroy. Okay, I won't full speed. I can't go any faster. Crap. It was really close. That's Excelsis. I think Excelsis is okay now. So nothing that has escaped from Neptune's gravity. Nothing has became too close to escape. So I think Excelsis and Iapetus have gotten like a more stable orbit around Neptune. I'm not sure about Europa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Both of the Neptune moons are still. Oh, oh no, nope. if. Was it, what? Okay. Whoa, okay. That has escaped. Umbriel, Titan, Exceladus. Iapetus, Triton, Umbriel. What just happened there? Holy smokes. Looks like Huge Cousin went down. Looks like Rhea and Europa are now in a stable orbit. Tethys and Mimas are not in such a good orbit here. Our moon is still here too. It's also in a very funky looking orbit. Proteus, Neptune's moon. It's not really a major moon. It's close to being one. Just isn't doesn't have enough mass to turn it into a uh, to a what's that uh, word? To a sphere? Sphere? I don't know. Written very bad at pronouncing things. <laughs> oh, Callisto! Oh, Callisto has escaped too. Oh, oh, and Miranda. Okay, Miranda and Callisto are the only ones I haven't like got like ejected. Come on, Mimus. Oh, it's called Mimus Miranda. Come on, Mimus. This is it, Mimus. You gotta go now. I don't know, Mimus is still hanging on here. It's probably gonna, like, its orbit's gonna start, like... What's the word? Uh, start becoming bigger and bigger instead of more skinnier. Oh, whoa. There's W on action. Transport it look like. A bit shaky. Yeah, I think, yeah, Mimus's orbit's definitely getting bigger and bigger now. Uh, come on, no, I want some more action here, dude. Come on, Mime, it's just like Scamp already, and Tethys too. Both of their orbits are getting larger. Come on, Mime, it's... Oh, it... Oh, no. How long? Over the period? 13 years. Because Neptune, one of Neptune's moons named Niso, um, orbits Neptune in like 27 years or 29 years? I'm not sure. It's pretty long over the period. It's so far away. That the sun is tugging on that moon, sort of, so the moon orbit's always like, and I guess you could say, kind of like, it's always different. Oh, I just realized, uh, Mimus is in a retrograde orbit here. Wish I could go faster. 
faster. Okay, I'm just gonna end it here because it's been 10 minutes. I'm gonna say Tethys and Mimus would have escaped Neptune at one point, and all the moons here would be fine. Animate orbits changing a lot. Alright. So, yeah, so I would say Rhea, Europa, uh, Proteus, Neptune's second largest moon, Oberon, Sharon, our, our own moon, and Oberon and Titan. Oh, I didn't say Titan. Okay, I didn't say Titan in there. I would say would have would be fine. This is kind of cool, actually. <laughs> no, come back. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Um, this I guess this is what would happen, or at least for me. And something may something different may happen. But yeah, um, this is the end of this video. Um, bye.